six, nine, Hello there YouTube, today we have another video, this time it's a Voron 2.4 R2. This printer has been built by outsourced parts and it's been used as a vanilla printer so I made a couple adjustments to it but still we are in the beginning of our journey so we're going to check if we can make this printer a really tuned in, very fast, very reliable, quiet 3D printer. That's our goal. So now I'm going to show you guys what the upgrades that I've done to it. First upgrade is the five inch touch screen that I installed uh, to run clipper screen on it. It's been an easy installation. Just install the clipper screen GUI on it and it works flawlessly. It's a very heavy printer. I think it weights around 30 kilograms and that is for me too much to handle the printer. So I'm having a hard time to turn the printer sideways to work on the internal components. That is something I don't like about this uh, printer because it's a 350 by 350 by 350. They are 350 by 350 but not 350 in Z height. So they come as it is, it's 310 in Z height. I printed out this part, this is a top hat for your Voron 2.4 and what it does is it extends it by 5-6 centimeters so that you can go actually a couple centimeters higher in Z height. Now the printer can go up to 330 instead of 310. 2 centimeters is sometimes crucial if you're printing parts that are just about to fit in there or not. So yes, that is well maybe worth to do it. I know now why a Voron is so expensive, it's really a rigid machine and depending on the person who built it, you can make it better. I also installed a PiCam 2.1 here. You can see the ribbon cable go in there and that, that has a reason. Normally it's more flush, but the reason for that was that the ribbon cable was catching onto the uh, on one of the Z motors and the Z uh, belts. So I made it a bit on an angle so it doesn't do that. And yeah, that it worked really well out. So that is also crucial on a printer, in my opinion, to have a camera on there. And this setup is, in my opinion, really sleek as well. So more about the upgrades that I want to do in the future for this on this uh, Voron is to have a clicky probe because now it's still using the induction sensor and I don't like that. So I want it to be more accurate. So the clicky is, in my opinion, the best one to go to as a probe. So. Uh, and it's also the cheapest <laughs> to be honest and you get so a uh, cheap and a reliable a very nice mod on it so that's a one to have and i also want to install led lights on top so that uh, it has some light let there be light i'd say and also what is very crucial on this printer is that to tune it i'm thinking of getting a canvas on the tool head it has an adxl so that i can make the input shaping without any extra cables well it will be from the canvas so that it's a very sleek thing as well this video is sponsored by pcbway.com the world's go-to supplier for premium custom circuit boards tell us what you need then let us design and manufacture your pcbs to the highest level low print runs and 24-hour turnarounds with assembly starting from just five dollars get an instant quote and join our online community at pcbway.com you might be able to hear the printer going on now but uh, it's really like not comparable to a trail to k1 max or even a bamboo x1 carbon because those printers are very loud in my opinion compared to this one I basically cannot hear the, uh, the axis is moving, so X and the Y axis is really quiet. You do hear it like when it's making a longer journey from the, the back to the front of the printer. You do hear it a little bit. Yes, that's true, but not as much as you would hear on the other mentioned printers. So I think this printer has really a lot of potential. You do need to have some time because this does eat a lot of time of your free time. So now I'm using the slicer on better settings so that I'm trying to uh, make it print a little bit better to the slicer, which is Orca slicer. But yeah, if you look at this printer as it is now, I think it looks like a Lamborghini in my opinion. I don't know why, but it gives me that vice. Maybe it's these uh, honeycombs in the front, the grill. It really is a nice look. I really like the look of the printer, the way it's sitting there it says i'm a badass so yeah you you can actually unleash the beast inside of this printer as well and make it a really badass printer and without forgetting i'm also going to make the hot end upgraded into a stealth burner so that it's i like the stealth burner more than this setup so uh, it will be a better look on the printer as well so those are the mods that i'm 
planning on making i hope i will have some time to do those let me know uh, what you think about this printer guys i know it's a printer that's been reviewed and talked about many times before i know that i'm a bit late with this but uh, i didn't really want to put the hustle to have built one i just want to do the hustle to fine tune it and make it a perfect printer without forgetting guys if you want to participate on the Galalite giveaway you can go up under the video on the right top corner and just subscribe on the channel hit the thumbs up in that video and also write a comment with hashtag giveaway so you participate on it it's an international giveaway so make sure you you participate on that giveaway as well after you close those doors it becomes a very quiet printer but it also doesn't have an auxiliary fan which the other printers do have and pumps up really a lot of uh, db on there and this one is just using the hot end fan which is quiet in my opinion i think that's why also it has a lot of uh, under uh, cooling so it, do it does need more airflow to make a really good print out of it after this this print finishes i'm going to show you what it's going to look like the mods need to have uh priorities to install and i think the first priority in my opinion is just the led lights it's really annoying me at the moment i don't like the way it's now uh really dark inside of the printer i know to the camera you can see more better but in real life it's darker i think my camera is compensating the the light exposure to make it a bit more brighter for you guys but in real life it's just a bit dark and i don't like that i want it to be like lots of lights on that which will be a much better experience to look at and also the camera feed will be much better than the dialing it in is going to make the printer a beast i'm sure of that because i've seen some other places that they have a really nice working uh boron that is kind of on par with a uh, bamboo x1 carbon yes bamboo x1 carbon you can buy uh tuned out of the box yes but what, where is the fun in that if you want to make something yourself i think the experience that building a printer is much better than just buying a printer out of the shelf and just uh, taking it out of the box setting it up in 15 minutes and it's working i think that is taking away the immersiveness of uh, well making something yourself some people are like that some don't want to bother they just want to uh, have a printer that is just going to work out of the box well i'm in between depending on the time that i have i will make a printer i've already built a rook 2020 out of scratch i had a lot of help online from uh, friends and well yeah that it was a success to be honest guys if you build a printer yourself it's a bit harder depending on where you live to sell those printers because not many people know how to cope with these printers if anything breaks they don't know how to fix them keep that in mind if you're buying it second hand as well you need to be able to to fix it if anything goes wrong because these printers can lose track sometimes and then it will suddenly start printing worse or bad and you will need to tune it again or you will need to find where the problem is where there with another printer which is under warranty you can just contact the seller that's the main difference on these printers so this is the printed product which in my opinion is really nice i'm using just a, a better version of the slicer uh, well better settings and in my opinion this came out really nice on the sides although i do see some under extrusion on the bottom bit which i was playing around to make it perfect yes but this is under extrusion which can be dialed in to, to make it perfect but overall this is really a nice print without a printer that is not being uh, dialed in and also here also uh, the first layer was a, a little catastrophical but other than that as uh, seeing how smooth it made it it's really nice and on the side here as well i know the filament is white guys but trust me it's really a nice print it's it came out really nice i am really happy with the results without tuning the printer um and just you know did a little bit of uh, tuning on the slicer that's it and it came out really nice so this printer does really have a, a big potential to become one of the best printers that i own i hope you guys want to stay with me on this journey to make a very nice voron that is going to be one of the workhorses of my setup anyways guys i hope you like this uh, video hit the thumbs up if you liked the video hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future bye